all right guys welcome back to another video here on the channel so today's video we're going to be doing a new cluster and new led control ac control switches install as you guys can see this is my old cluster everything's yellow take a look at the lights everything's like fading away so i had to get this upgrade um so we showed you guys the whole process in this video this clip right here was from like months ago when i bought the truck you know how oem has its own colors like yellow and fading away so enjoy the video of me and installing everything drop a like and subscribe guys let's go yes sir unscrew this bro it's hard recording dude show a comment down below oh i'm hitting the logo y'all see that ouch oh i'm about to scratch this mug up Right, you just gotta unscrew these. It is a seven millimeter, right? Seven? Yeah, I thought, dude, I saw videos. People were saying it was eight, but bro, that's not eight. It's seven millimeters, guys. I don't know. Here, don't lose your screws. The next one's right there. Like I said, it's hard recording. Yes, sir, eight. Drop a like. Let's go. And I'm gonna just show you guys when I'm done right now. Here's the cluster. I don't know if y'all can see. Ding. Bro, that thing is dusty. Cluster has like, what, four bolts? Two on the left, two on the right. One top left, top bottom, top left bottom, and top right, bottom right. So bear with me, bro, it's hard recording. I wish I had like a drill. But it's better to do it like this because you don't want to damage the screw. It's like the long, is it on? Not that. I got it out. Let's see right here. Uh, no way. It still has more to go. Oh, no, it's right here. It's, it's coming out right here. I got it. Here in Fortnite. Look, I got all these out already. I'll show you all the results right there. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Make sure you have the right. I'm not trying to lose these. Put those right there. That's my sun visors. And then one right there. Y'all see that? One at the bottom right and then top right not not too bad too easy. it's easy it's easy i wouldn't do this in public though do it in your own place and it should be good to go <laughs> right, i'm just gonna do it now i'll show you guys the results when they're out all righty boys take a look by the ship my ac controls cluster uh switch controls windows passenger control uh heating and cooling seats all wrapped up man hopefully it's good right y'all see it on camera looks good I, sh I mean it feels good the cluster is all the way at the bottom and it is like covering from the top which obviously you don't want to get i wrapped it every i use like two rolls of wrap and then here i'm shipping to uh my rear view mirror to somebody else. You could do the orange lights to red because that's the only color you could do. So I found somebody else. This one's wrapped up really good. And look at that perfect size box. So yeah, I about to ship these. And then I'm gonna show you guys right now when I got it back. Uh, there you go. So let's box them up and receive it back. All right, guys, and this is what my truck looked like when I shipped everything out. As you guys can see, everything's plugged out because I shipped it to the people who are going to do the upgrade. So, yeah, it was pretty empty. GG's. All right, guys, look what came in. My rear view mirror and my uh, new steering wheel controls, all white LDD. There's his contact information. Gauge works on Instagram. There's his number. Packed it up good. Good service, y'all. Now, gotta open it. Oh, I gotta watch out. I don't know, bro. Where's the whole... Yeah, I blacked out my name. I mean, manager, you guys can see. All right, but let me just open it up, bro. See what we get my steering wheel controls and rear view mirror i sent it to this guy because the other guy didn't know how to do it which is understandable but he has his own business how to do these things oh my days w packaging my boy oh he sent me a free sticker dude <gasps> look how he wrapped it up dude w packaging i was not expecting stickers wow 
This guy, oh, all right, all right. Uh, right here, we can do this first. Dude, W, oh, I'm sorry, I wish. W packaging, shout out to God, right here. Let's put this to the side. I'll show you guys right now. Look, this is what I need. Guys, this is what you need to get. have these for you can pick. It'll be easier for the steering wheel controls. I'll show you guys right now. I'm uh, here to make it more clear. We'll take this out. Yeah, you guys can see it flat. All right. So let's see what we got here first. Yo, W packaging, dude. Free sticker. Look, Leo. Look, Facebook and Instagram, dude. Shout out to him. That's the Instagram, Facebook. And then there's another paper. See, man, that's what I gotta do though. There's this pro business card, cluster reprint conversions. Oh my days, dude. This guy has a great business. Look at that. Shout out to my boy Zach. That's his name right there. Nice card. And then so this is the guy that did my uh, steering wheel controls, which I ordered new ones. And then, that's it. And then, um, what's it called? The rear view mirror, which I'll show you all right now. So yeah, brand new. Which I'm gonna be honest, bro, I don't even use these, but we needed that white LED. There's this stuff right there. This one, one of them was burnt, not burned out, but like damage. Yeah, this is way better now. This one, I think, yeah, it was this one. I had like a chip on my main one. Very, very good. And then this. Now I'll show you guys a rear view mirror. GG's bro, GG's, appreciate you. To my rear view mirror that made it smell like that. Cause look. I had some small, look, you see the blue mark? I'm like, that's why it smells. All right, so look. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Excuse that. Imagine I broke it. All right, so look at this. You see that? Looks red, but it's going to be white. And right now you can't see it, but the passenger airbag letters will be in red. Focus, bruh. Yo. There. Passenger airbag letters will be in red. This little dot you see on the left will be blue. And then these don't turn on. They never did. That's just how they come. It's just a printed on font. And then on and off right here will be in color white. So blue, red, white. And then this with white accent at the top right. Which will match my cluster. So let me know what y'all think. Pretty dope. Shout out to this guy for the nice service. Now to put it on. I'll show y'all right now what it looks like. Let's go. GG's. Hold up. Before we end up, bro. Why is it not focused, man? There's that. Drop a light, subscribe, boys. And then finally, guys, my headlight switches, door switches, AC control switches finally arrived. Like I sent from the other person. Very safe. I just unwrapped everything. So shout out to the person who wrapped it. So you guys can see we have the door switches um, as well. You guys will see what type of different fonts he did put on the switch because he had to right here on the cargo lamp switch. He had to put a different font because it would have shown a different color and we wanted white specifically. So we did that. And then here's my headlight switches. So yeah, everything came back safe. Now we're ready for the install right back on the truck with the new color. All right, guys, check this out. We just replaced the cooling and heating switches. So look, these were the old ones. Time man, small details matter. Look, it was like ripped off. Look, they're fading away. So then, this is the same controller. I'm just using the same controller. I just bought a new one from eBay. And this is the new one that I bought. And I just got the buttons out. So you're just switching the buttons. Because the LED control, these are still LED. So look, I can't like twist it because the buttons are going to fall. It's not in yet, but this is what it's going to look like. Y'all see that? So I know one looks gray, one's dark. I was thinking if I want to switch, the, I could switch the left ones too, but those aren't like faded away, but that's the new ones and it will shine light through it. I'm talking man, small details matter. Uh, I was thinking about, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I put on all, all the black ones too? Why not the new ones? But I don't need to because the ones that I have are not like faded away, but if I have to, I will. But Or I could just keep it for the future. You never know when they'll fade away.
So, which one is it? One, number one, and number two. So, they'll be these. So, should I switch these out too or not? Comment down below. I think, I don't know. I mean, in the dark, you won't notice it. And it's gonna be like when the lights are on, you won't notice it. But I'll probably just save it for the future. I don't know, man. I'm very decisive right now. Should I? Should I not? I don't know. Y'all let me know. It'll be these right here, right? Yeah, because mine doesn't have arrows. Mine, these, you don't, I don't need those, but... Yeah, and this is the LED controls. I don't know, man. Let me know. Yes or no? Should I? Yes. Comment down below. Alrighty, guys. Check this out. We're putting the air, uh, steering wheel controls back in. The steering wheel. You got to use this. Look. You need this tool for you can hold on to this. And then this is the new... Uh, like I've been saying, new steering wheel controls with YLED, guys. I had to get a new control because the other one had chippings at the bottom. And it was very not a, very nice. Not nice. So, I don't know why it's not focused there. We're going to put that in. It's going to look like this. And I'm going to show you guys the outcome right now. Oh, my days. This thing was a pain. That's in, right, y'all? That looks in, right? Because if it was not, right? Bro, I'm like overthinking right now. If this wasn't in, it wouldn't clip on, right? I don't know, man. What y'all think? I'm gonna test it out. That's in. There's no way that's not. And then right here, this is the one that did my work. You know, he uploaded a video on Instagram. Like I said, follow me on my Instagram. Look how everything bright is, guys. Pretty cool. Um, like I said, I wanted that white on blue color theme just to match the vehicle. And as well, he did it for the cluster right here. As you guys can see, blue glowing needles, um, emergency lights on blue, battery lights, all that glowing. And then, like, everything's just so perfect. And the digital screen is black and white as I wanted it, which you'll see right now with the screen. I'll play out. Yes, sir. Look what I ride, boys. Silverado SS. New cluster. Blue needles. Blue glowing lights. White background. Same SS overlay. Let's go. Install video coming soon, boys. All with all LED lights. Drop a like, subscribe. Get the details. All right, guys, this is what it looks like turned off before. I'm going to show you guys on right now, but that's what it looks like. The blue needles, white, same white screen, same font. Y'all see it. And then yeah, I don't know if y'all can see the screen is like black. I mean, I think it's all, no, it's been greenish. The stock one, this one's black. Same as the mirror one. And everything's back installed. And look what we got. We got an SS. I mean, an SS. Uh, nitros right there. And then I did the sun visors. You guys will see it right now. I don't know. You guys can see it like in the dark. It's so dark, dude. But it doesn't even look. doesn't even focus. But y'all see that. Suede. And then here's the buttons. Back installed. I replaced these because the other ones were worn out. And then it's the same as always the one I changed, still bright. And then now, show you guys turned on. Oh, yeah, here. This is a new cargo lamp font. Because if you did it the uh, white, the other one, it would have showed baby blue. So you had to switch it out with a new one. As well with the passenger one, you guys can see it's a new font. So, yeah, now I'm going to turn it on. Drop a like. Let's go. Yeah. Wait till the lights go off. I'm going to give you like a, how do you say it? A cold start, not a cold start, but like a startup. So wait for the lights to go off. I gotta get the key ready. I don't know why it's not off yet. It does it takes this long? Oh, it's going. There you go. All right. Oh, well, can't see. All right, guys. Don't worry. We're turning it on. All right. So look, when you move the key up one, you guys know it. This is for all GM trucks. It turns on like that. All right. So this is when it's. Oh, hopefully my Bluetooth doesn't connect. So this is what it looks like right now. It's not on yet. The vehicle's not on, guys. See, and when you start it, this is the third key. All right, hopefully you don't turn on, bro, to my Bluetooth. 
All right, and then turn it on. I mean, you guys can see it already like this, but I want to turn it on. You guys can see the lights are on. I'll show you guys more in depth right now, but oh, I got to clean my lens, bro. I hate when it does. I mean, does it bother y'all that white light? Y'all see that line going? So this is before you start it, and then when you start it, ready? There y'all go. Oh my days. Alright guys, this is what it looks like. Turned on, the vehicle's on. You guys can see. Pretty cool. I, I had to skip it to turn on my CarPlay. It looks cleaner like that. Hopefully the audio doesn't mess up because it's connected to the Bluetooth. But yeah, that's what it looks like, guys, in the dark. So let me go, like, in slow motion and detail. So we got the window switches, guys, and the heating cooling. So the reason I did blue on the heating and cooling is because if I did white, it would have shown a baby blue color, which it kind of looks like on camera. But in person, it's, like, a bright blue because they have, like, a GM put, like, a some type of color on top of it. So if I put white, it would have made it look not good. So if, it, if that was not there, I would have done it white, but it doesn't look too bad with blue and white. And then the window switches, I did white, of course. Right here, this is for the mirror, I'm pretty sure. Um, This one, uh, OEM, this one's like orange. So I was like, why not just put blue? Just because it's not like a white color. And then for these, this is for the, uh, what do you call the, the, the left and the right mirror. So we put that white. Over here, we have our headlight switches, whatever. We have it on auto. You know, I have like the blinker blue and then everything else is white. There is another control right here, which dims everything like OEM, even the cluster. Um, and by the way, it looks like purple on camera, but it's like a really nice blue. Um, this one never lit up. This was always OEM turned off. And then right here we have the cargo lamp. So I don't know if you guys remember uh, 2003 trucks. They have like this uh, cargo lamp logo, the icon. So I had to switch out to a new font because if i did that as well white it would have showed a baby blue color and wouldn't be fully white so i had to get a whole new font which looks nice look at the font it says cargo lamp um in order for me to do white but if i were to do blue i would have kept the old logo but i had to get a new logo if i wanted it to show full white and then the steering wheel controls you guys see uh source volume all that good stuff i have this obviously on white just to match it and by the way i still gotta connect these to my radio um, I don't know if you guys remember, but when you connect it to a new radio, it won't like fully show if that makes sense. Um, and then over here, we have the cluster. So we did blue glowing needles with the same white SS background, as you guys saw. And then the digital screen is black and white. Um, I just like, it looks more modern. I didn't want it to, but this is the thing. I didn't want to choose all blue on these because it looks so like tacky. I don't know if you guys know what tacky means. It's like when you choose too much of one color, it doesn't look good. But if you're choosing white on um, like white is never like too much white is just the perfect color so that's why i did white and black on the digital if i did like a blue screening it would not match i'm telling you guys i know what i'm doing guys trust me i'm like very good with these i'm always like spot on by the details so that's why i chose that so yeah it looks very nice everything's oh yeah here i could show you guys the mirrors shows like a baby blue baby blue color but that's working every signal's working I just gotta put resistors on that if you guys didn't know on the switches. Oh, as well the bell, guys. Look, I'm sure you guys. I think you guys saw it already though. But here, I'm just trying to show you guys details, guys. So the bell, when you take it off, there's a sensor, and then it goes away, obviously. But I don't have it on right now. But yeah, it'll go away. Oh, uh, and then right here. So this is the AC heating switches. This guys, obviously, I had to do white. Um, so this is what I was talking about. You see those little lines? Those are like, that's the baby blue color that would have shown right here. So sadly, um, when you put, so he put white on all this. So basically, um, if you were to do another color, it would have shown, but on white, it will show this baby blue color because it's like something behind the plastic. But if you look at it in person, it doesn't really stand out. The white like covers it. Like the white, you pay more attention to it. So that's why it's worth it. And then look at look at it with the CarPlay screen reader. It literally looks amazing. You can choose your wallpaper too. And then over here, we got the passenger and the auto. This is actually a new font as well. Bro, I don't know why it's not focused. This is a new font as well. Um, he had to change it because like I said, it would have turned baby blue color. So he put blue and white right here. So that, that's for this. That looks amazing. That looks at quality. And then over here for the mirror, guys, take a look at the mirror. 
so this is the thing about the mirror so look at it. you guys remember the black and white digital screen i wanted to match with the cluster you gotta match everything detail by detail guys so we chose the black and white screen at the top right and then we have a blue light at the bottom left and then the off button i chose white because look this is white this is what it's talking about passenger off. i'm telling you guys you guys gotta get every detail right so i chose white because this is white where it says on or off or auto so that's where i put white as well and then where it says passenger airbag that's red because that's the only color you can choose it was very difficult for someone to put a different color because it's like behind a plastic material and that's oem orange so the only color that can switch is to red but if you look at it the red matches this right here so if you took a look at it from like this point of view like this take a look how the red literally matches detail by detail with the mirror I don't know you guys, it's really hard to like focus it, but you guys see it. I don't know you guys, but yeah, the mirror red switch matches this red on the um, the AC controls. So that literally looks good. And then that's it. And then this is the passenger um, heating and cooling seats. Like I said, same thing. Oh, I well forget to show you guys. When you click it, it shows white. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, so look, I don't want to do blue on blue because that'll be too much. So when you click it it shows white so yeah it'll do the same thing for this one you guys can see and then this one over here we have like a nice light it comes in clutch this is for my base now this was i was here for my radio base and radio and stuff so that blue light really comes clutch because it like matches everything but yeah that's the whole thing guys let me know what y'all think it's pretty cool now let me try to give like a it's gonna be hard like a thumbnail and now I'm gonna do it right now, guys. Yeah, it's really hard. I love this. Look at this quality right here. It looks so perfect. But yeah, guys, let me know what y'all think. Uh, it was well worth it. And this is what it looks like when the vehicle's on. I mean, when the door is open. This is what it looks like, guys. See that? Oh, as well, forgot to show you guys my new sun visors. I did these sway. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it already in the. But just in case. Sorry, man. I need a new iPhone, I need a new camera tweak, but yeah, it looks way better, guys. Everything's swayed out. I don't know what's my next upgrade, guys. See that? Uh, it's really hard to focus. Everything's swayed to the actual matching headliner. So, comment down below what y'all think, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I'll tag whoever made my stuff down below in the description and the comments. So, drop a like, subscribe. But that is the LED switches here in my Silverado says. And yeah, drop a like, subscribe, guys. And I'm out. Catch y'all boys in the next. That looks so amazing. And I'm out. Bye.